As part of uh, our last video, I wanted to talk about ordination. Uh, you know, the unique thing is in, in the Bible, talked about this just briefly, of Acts chapter 2, talks about how they, uh, they would hear the apostles' teaching. And, and really, we kind of do that format through everybody, your, yourself included, tuning in to Acts 4.33 and the importance of that. Uh, and then they would meet together in each other's homes because they could break down that teaching. They could have more of a dialogue about that teaching. And, and the church just spread uh, this way. It says they did things. They broke bread together. They gave as, as to everyone who had a need. Beautiful picture of the church that God intends. Um, but with ordination, this is for leaders who want to be leaders of leaders. It really is. Um, this isn't a. This isn't for a title. This isn't for um, you know like notoriety or anything like that. The reason that I would encourage ordination for certain people, this isn't right for everyone, is they want to actually uh, they want to work with campus leaders. Uh, number one, uh, they have a calling. They feel so strong about helping them succeed, helping uh, even more churches start. And uh, they've just had opportunities where they can they can do weddings and funerals, and uh, you know they need credentials sometimes to 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 do things, maybe to minister in the prisons, uh, to get into the hospitals, and, and things like that. And they feel a calling in their lives that goes beyond just uh, inside of their micro campus. So. Uh, basically, we have a program in place. If you are interested, what you have to do is uh, th th there's a few things you have to have already. Obviously, you've gone through the how, how to study the Bible certification. You've successfully had a micro campus, uh, and now you are ready to take that next step into our ordination course. Uh, if you have an interest in that, email me. And I can start getting the, the information out for that uh, and, and how that all looks and, and getting you on that track to be ordained. It's an exciting thing. And um, it does involve you actually uh, coming to Michigan when it's all said and done. So I want to put that out there. Uh, you would come to our service in Ortonville, Michigan. We have a special or ordination service planned for you. Uh, we're going to pray for you, lay hands on you, bless you, send you out. Uh, after you've gone through um, all of the, the training that you need to do. So um, that is exciting. I, I, I'm looking forward to, to that. We've had somebody ordained at our main campus uh, last year, and, and that was a wonderful blessing. And I'm looking for more and more people that will be ordained as pastors and see what God does through their lives. So I'm excited for that. And if that's you, like I said, you just have to – really, you don't even have to send me an email – at one of the quarterly uh, meetings that we have, just identify and let the group know because that's wonderful because then other campus leaders can be praying for you, encouraging you on that journey as well.